Hi, good afternoon. This is TJ Muleman, founder and CEO of Standard Co., with another edition of our MetaBase tutorial series, where we dive into MetaBase, we do how-tos, we answer questions, uh, and we show all the best that there is about MetaBase. Um, today, we're going to talk about the trend visualization type. And if you've followed any of our other videos, we've done about 20 or 30 now, um, you're probably like, hey, dude, this is your third trend visualization video. And it's because I think the trend visualization is the most useful visualization or maybe one of the most usual, uh, useful, but also probably the most underpowered. I think my friends at Metabase, if you're watching, the trend visualization needs your love. Um, and I'm going to show you why. So uh, let's look at a sample data set here. So I've got the, these are, this is real data of the number of male high school graduates every year here in the United States from 1960 to 2021. So 51 years worth of data, pretty interesting stuff. Um, and what I would love to show you is the difference in the most recent year we have data for 2021 and the year prior. So that's what the trend visualization does. Is it shows you the percent difference. And it's really useful if you're doing, uh, for example, uh, any any sort of trend uh, chart. Uh, maybe you're doing a profit and loss or revenue growth or you know expenses reduction. You want to show the difference between the current year and the previous year. That's that's a really great use of a dashboard. Um, so the trend visual visualization works well. So uh, I've got this data here. Uh, you've got your date time here. You've got your uh, your value over here. And you would think that this data would be well poised to use the trend visualization. Well, let me show you what happens when I try to use it out of the box. Let me start by sorting my data by year, and I'm going to sort it descending. Um, so visualize. And so now I've got 2021 as the first record and then uh, 2020 as the most recent record. Click visualization. You'll notice trend is grayed out. Okay. And that's that doesn't mean you can't use it. It just means Metabase doesn't think it'll work. And I would say about Half the time, Metabase is pretty much right about like it won't work, and it's it's right here. So you'll see that I have to group by a time field to see how this changed over time. Well, the thing that's kind of awkward about this is it's already a time field. Uh, it's already – so if I go back here, uh, it's already a date time. I changed this in Metabase, and I have my values. Um, and so if you might think, well, shoot, trend won't work. Um, let's – Come back here in just a second. I'll show you a little workaround to make it work. Okay, so now we're back. And so what I want to show you is the workaround to making this work uh, with the data set we have um, and using the trend visualization. So what I did is you have to do this as a SQL query. So you come into new, and instead of doing a question, which is the kind of question editor, you're going to write a SQL query. So this assumes you know a little bit of SQL, and I'll put this into the YouTube video uh, the actual SQL query to do this. Um, so you put that in there and then you have to do some funky uh, MySQL, or at least in our case, MySQL. You, there's obviously different varieties of databases out there, but we're using MySQL. Um, you have to concatenate the year with 0101, which is January 1st. Now, in the query editor, you'll notice it was already, already had the date and month. And that's because Metabase is sort of layering on top of uh, the data with what it thinks the data should be, but it's not the, what the actual data is. Okay, follow along there. Um, and whereas in SQL, when you're in the SQL query editor, you're dealing with the raw data as it's sort of stored in the database and not an interpretation of it. So kind of keep that in mind. So you have to concatenate, use a concat function in MySQL to change this to add 0101 to make it a full date. Okay. Um, then you have your high school males, which is the number of um, boys or men that graduated from uh, high school. Then obviously your t table. And then here is the kicker. You need a group by. Okay. So this is kind of a funky function. We're grouping by something that's already grouped. Okay. So we're actually not achieving anything by using this group by, but what we're doing is we're kind of tricking Metabase to thinking that we're actually using a group by, right? Here's the funny thing. If I run this, okay, I get my data and it looks very similar to what our data was looking in the in the editor. But now if I go to visualization, notice the trend option is available. It's not grayed out. And that's because Metabase is like, hey, I can use the trend uh, visualization. And if I do that, let me move my ugly face out of the way. Voila, I have what exactly what I was looking for. 
I have, this is the most recent year's worth of data, 1.44 million uh, from uh, 2021. Uh, it went down 8.6% from 1.581 million in 2020. So you can see the trend visualization is, I think, awesome because this on a dashboard tells a stakeholder or tells somebody who's looking for information immediately, whoa, uh, the number of men or males who graduated from high school in 2021 went down 8.6%. Let me go dig into that, right? If it went down half a percent or went up half a percent, we might be like, who cares, right? But 8.6% might be significant to someone. Um, and so the trend visualization is, is an immediate call out to something that is either interesting or problematic or worth investigating. That's why I like the trend visualization so much. Um, and so I, I wanted to put together this, this video because I spent a good you know two hours trying to get it to work with the data I had. And I realized I had to write a SQL query and I had to group by something that was essentially already grouped by. It's kind of faking MetaBase out. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you liked it, share it like it, uh, tell your friends about it, have them give me a call. I'd like to have a beer. I'm kind of lonely. That's not true. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in and be on the lookout for more Metabase or other data videos in the future.